Hey everyone, I'm Ryan from T-Car Pros and today we're going to be taking a look at how to replace the fuel filter for a 2003 Chevrolet S10 and Chevrolet Trailblazer. Uh, this is a pretty simple, approachable repair that pretty much anybody could do as long as you have a pair of gloves, a nice pair of uh, work gloves, and definitely some eye protection. You don't want gasoline in your eye. Um, and if you've had a Ford in the past and you're a little gun shy when it comes to uh, fuel lines because they're really difficult on Fords, on GMs they're insanely easy. It's one safety and then uh, just one flare nut and you're all done. So with all that out of the way, let's just go ahead and get into it. This is the location of your fuel filter. It is on the inside of the frame underneath the driver's seat. This is where we will be working today. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is remove this line here. It's really easy. You just push in on these safeties, one on each side, and it will be gushing some fuel. So make sure you have a catch pan ready and you are wearing safety glasses. There we go. And if you're questioning why I didn't relieve fuel pressure before this, well, I'm doing it right now. This is how you can, this is one way to reveal, relieve fuel pressure. And it's usually not super crazy because the fuel pump's not on. All right, now we can disconnect this side of the line and you're gonna wanna use a 16 millimeter line wrench. You see how it's a bit of a special of a wrench. If you try to use one of these on there, uh, it has a really good chance of just rounding that off. Uh, but we can use that to hold one of these wrenches, regular open end wrench, to hold the filter. And this is a 20 millimeter. And so we got our 20 millimeter on the filter side, our 16 millimeter on the line side. Just gonna break it loose like that, and usually just spins off nice and easy. And it might uh, dribble out fuel from this side as well. We can just pull that out. There we go. So there's a bolt that holds the this plastic filter assembly and it's a 13 millimeter. Go ahead and remove that. There we go. There we go. That's what that looks like. Uh, you could also probably just push this out if you really wanted to, um, but I want to remove the whole thing because it's frankly really easy and if I try pushing this out I might bend one of these return lines and that's no good. So uh, let's go ahead and take this over to the workbench. All right, so we have our new fuel filter here. It's a Bosch 77052WS. I left the link down below in the description to it. I would either use Bosch or EC Delco, but EC Delco wasn't available. So we have this nice Bosch filter and we can see that it's exactly the same. It even has a new safety on it, which is really cool. We can go ahead and remove that. And there's supposed to be a safety that comes in this way, so toss that. And then we need to press this out of its housing so we can get this one into here. Okay, so I got my rubber mallet here and I'm just gonna tap this off really gently. I don't wanna use a metal hammer because I don't wanna break this bracket. There we go. That's one of the reasons I wanted to leave this on and just take the bracket off because doing this on the car would be really difficult. Slide this back on. Just like that. And the orientation, how this is rotated, isn't very important because it doesn't really matter. You can just spin the safety however you like it, and this goes on just normal. Um, so this is ready to go back on the truck. Go ahead and reinstall our uh, filter bracket here. Put our return lines back in there, home. So what I'm gonna do here, is kind of line the return lines back up where they belong. We can line our uh, fuel line in there like that. And then, we can finish taking the bracket back in. And you don't want this ultra Hulk Omega tight. Just, you know, arm tight's good. Because it's just metal being clamped to plastic, or plastic being clamped to metal. And you don't want to crack that housing. And then we can massage the return lines back into that nice uh, bracket hold. There we go. Those look nice and stock. Now we can uh, tighten our line back up. All right, now we can put our hard line back on. Now, 
If the filter's too far northward, we can go ahead and slip that back a little bit so that way our line fits in there nice and flush. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Grab our 20 millimeter open end wrench and our 16 millimeter line wrench and give that a nice tightening. Now, there's really not a torque spec when it comes to uh, lines, so you're just gonna have to kind of feel it out, you know? They're just little lines, but they are holding fuel back, so, you know, reasonably tight. The arm tight's acceptable. There we go, that's perfect. And then, our safety, we can rotate so it matches our fuel line. And then, you just push your fuel line on. Easy as that. So that's how to replace your fuel filter for a 2003 uh, Chevrolet S10. It's very easy and straightforward, an awesome way to save money. I've left a link down below in the description to that fuel filter. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll catch you next time.